All right guys, so a big problem a lot of people have is brown spots in their lawn and there's all sorts of reasons why it could be brown. So I'm here at my sister's house and she's asked me, you know, what the problem is and I'm gonna poke around. First, I'm gonna use this. I can't find my screwdriver. Normally I use a one foot screwdriver and do the screwdriver test. Instead, this is actually, I think it's from a uh, filing cabinet, that little pole thing. At my house, I can get about a foot and a half down with this, so we'll compare to around here. It's only going an inch or two in, so the soil is compact. I know this is a new development area, so most of the lawns have, you know, dirt that doesn't have a lot of organic material. Another sign that it is uh, heat stress or lack of water is the tire marks. Um, they're making it bend over and uh, get more stress quickly. Um, there's no real sign of disease. I'm looking at the grass blades, the good stuff, not even a single little bit with disease, so uh, it really looks like lack of water. Alright, so the next thing to check out is the watering. Now they have an irrigation system, so I asked them to turn it on so we could just see maybe a sprinkler head or two was out in that area, because it does look pretty uh, brown right in the center. Um, but nope, the sprinklers all were working just fine and they have really good coverage. It's a new system. Um, I was impressed with how good it was. And what I think is happening is you see along the edges where the trees are in the house, that area is getting shade. So that's why it's not browning as quick. And uh, ultimately what happened, we figured out, we looked at their uh, system and the rain sensor was detecting rain and turning off the sprinklers. The problem we've been having is our weather, it's been raining frequently, but very little. But it was just enough to make the sensor go off and stop watering for the time being. And so that's kind of the, the problem we have with these smart systems. Um, they can sometimes be too smart, and so you just forget about it and then um, your lawn starts to brown up. Uh, but the good thing is, it is going to recover, you know, we, we were able to figure out before it died. Um, because the grass, when it goes dormant, it's still alive, it's just dormant, and you keep watering it, and then once the cooler weather hits, it'll green right back up. Um, another thing to notice is, they actually said when people were over, they saw their footprints in the lawn, and they thought it was weird. And that's a telltale sign that the lawn needs more watering and it's about to go dormant. So um, when that happens, if it ever happens, water your lawn a full inch and it'll keep it growing nicely. nicely. Um, and also they were watering for too little amount of time. Um, the system was set for a short period of time and I explained the benefits of watering a lot infrequently versus a little bit every day. Um, so that and disabling the rain sensor until it bounces back and we can uh, really figure out what, what's going on with the system. Um, their lawn should turn nice and green and then in the fall they're probably going to want to overseed just because there are enough bare spots. Um, it, the problem with developments like this is unless you get sod, it can take a little while to get the soil and everything going right to get the nice thick green lawn. Uh, but it is possible, it just takes time. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun, making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.